Happy Halloween, or at least for those of you watching this in 2020, happy couple days till Halloween. Um, so what I want to go over with y'all is how to uh, carve a pumpkin in on shape. So we have this spooktacular uh, par uh, pumpkin carving uh, contest coming up. Uh, and uh, I've shared with you this document. So again, we're not like reinventing the wheel. Uh, we can look at uh, what someone else has made. Here's a simple revolved um, pumpkin here. So we got half the pumpkin. We've revolved it around. Uh, we shell it out so we get that nice like inside uh, hollowed out shape right there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then we, we got our stem and we're good. Another way to make a pumpkin uh, we can add some details to it, so all we're really doing is doing um, like a little fillet uh, along uh, the line of, or the seam of our pumpkin that we have right here. Um, and then we're copying that feature on around using a, a circular pattern. Um, so again, just another way to start adding complexity uh, into our shape. And then third here, before we get into how to actually pump this, or pump this, <laughs> carve this darn thing, um, here is an image of a pumpkin, and you'll see that in a moment when we actually get into carving it. Um, we've we've traced that pumpkin uh, by adding some different uh, profiles, uh, and then finally, after we've added some details into it, not really us, but the person who made this, uh, we then have a path that we begin to loft along. So there's actually only like one little loft going on in here. If we look at uh, loft of, it's this body surface right here. We begin to loft this like actual just like surface. Uh, and then quickly uh, after we loft this thing, uh, what you can see going on is uh, we, we begin to make a solid shape after we've copied around that loft. Um, and there's two lofts going on because we have the, the actual body and we have the stem. Uh, and then we uh, turn them into solid shapes and we shell them out again to, to get a hollow. So. Briefly, three ways to make the same thing. The reason we're doing this is just so y'all can learn uh, how to read other folks' uh, designs. And if we hop into this tab, we're gonna carve this thing. So I'm gonna make a copy and I'm gonna call it Mr. K. And remember, uh, you can submit this thing on Instagram uh, to uh, actually get put into a drawing for a $50 Amazon card through Onshape. So, uh, I'll, I'll explain that later on after this loads up, but uh, make a copy of it. You see I renamed it, I put my name on it. You can share it with me. Uh, that would be nice um, just so I can see your awesome work. Um, and once this loads, um, we are going to be editing this part studio. If you feel like it, like you don't like extra part studios, you can delete these other part studios if you don't care for them. Uh, the advanced surface surfacing pumpkin is the same as the carving pumpkin. Um, what you'll see in here, there are some images. So uh, there's a pumpkin.jpg, that was the reference image for uh, the advanced modeling pumpkin. There's also, let's just hit delete, um, there's also this like lone wolf uh, image. Uh, we're also going to delete that because we, we really don't need it. Um, it might throw a reference out in Carved Pumpkin, and that's what we'll talk about in just a second. So again, we're waiting for some sort of loading to happen right now. Um, once this loads, we're gonna see three features over here. Um, carving plane, carving image, and carving sketch. Now that's what's driving the extrude remove and, and basically how this pumpkin's working. Um, I'm gonna turn on carving sketch first. Uh, and I'm gonna double click it. And what I'm just gonna do just to get some stuff out of the way is I'm going to delete it. I'm just selecting everything and I'm going to hit delete and it's gone. And if we hit check, it's going to throw red on extrude through fillet. That's fine. Um, and then now I'm going to turn on carving sketch. I'm going to double click on, or carving image, excuse me. And now there's a blank box here. If you still have those images that I just deleted a moment ago, you'll see that you would see the lone wolf in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this to uh, trace, insert an image and trace it. Um, so we're going to insert an image on carving image here, and then we're going to trace it on carving sketch. Now, I've already gone to Google uh, image search, and I found uh, an image of a jack-o'-lantern that I like. You could do the same thing. You could find a logo. It's whatever you want, whatever floats your boat. So up here, 
underneath of this little image or icon for insert DXF or DWG, there's also uh, a, a little feature insert for our sketch tools called uh, insert image. You can also search the tools and just look up insert and you'll find insert image. Uh, so there's nothing in here. There are no files in our Onshape document. I deleted those images. Uh, thankfully, it says import right here. If you can't see import on your screen, like your screen's a little too tiny, I suggest hitting command minus, or if you have any downloads still, I'm to check the downloads bar so the downloads bar goes away. But if you really can't see this import button, sometimes on smaller screens, you just have to hit command minus once or twice to be able to see this. But hopefully you see this right away. Um, and I'm going to hit import. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab an image from my desktop of a jack-o'-lantern, um, and we are going to import it. So uh, it takes a moment, it imports, uh, I can hit the X here, and then uh, I don't have a preview of the image yet, but um, eventually it should pop up. You'll see the image is also down here in our tab. And I can click on the image, and it asks me to draw an image rectangle. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw the image. And now that I have the image here, uh, I can move it around, I can kind of center it where I want it to be, and there we go. You could dimension it if you wanted to. You could place it with a point, but eh, we're just going to rough it in here. Once we have our image placed, so again, I just used an insert image and placed it, moved it around. I can hit check, and then we can actually go into carving sketch. Now, this is going to go pretty quick. Um, basically, I'm just using line tools. You do what you want to do. Um, there's no wrong answer here. Um, I would suggest maybe playing around with the spline tool. If you feel like you need to play around with the spline tool, um, you could go a little bit uh, more intense than I'm going and make like a center construction line. And if you wanted to make all this stuff, uh, uh, whatchamacallits, uh, if you wanted to make it uh, coincident or, or symmetric uh, to some sort of like feature or midpoint, uh, you could do that. Again, uh, I'm not like highly concerned about any of that stuff right now. So I'm just throwing in some lines um, just to kind of get like a rough trace of this image. Uh, I'm going to use the spline tool and let's just throw down some points and we'll start tracing this. Again, spline tool. I'm hitting escape when I'm done drawing something. Spline tool just works by clicking down points and it figures out a kind of curved line between all those points. The more points you add, the more detailed it'll get. All right, so the biggest thing here that we're looking for, if I check carving image, is we're looking for uh, shaded shapes. That's what you need in order to, to move on to our next step. And I'm going to hit the check and hop into our extrude one. Now, uh, as of right now, uh, we have it so that it's selecting our face, which seems okay, but let's just re-select these because it, it, it's still thinking that like there's that wolf that we had previously. Um, are you going to go, buddy? There you go. Um, so now we have uh, our extruder move. It's up to uh, the front plane, which is within the pumpkin, uh, and it's removing from part two, which is the actual pumpkin. So. Uh, I was able to select my little areas of my sketch, and now I can just uh, uncheck. And I have my extrude remove. We can turn off carving sketch now. There's some other stuff going on, like uh, splits. Um, split, I mean, we could play around with it all day. Um, and if I just hit the X, keep hitting the X. Uh, we could turn carving sketch back on. I'm not too concerned with uh, fixing our our sketch here, or split, excuse me, uh, or our move face or anything of that sort of matter. Um, what it will help with uh, is getting uh, the fillet correct. But again, like let's not just let's not spend too much time on this. So we can hit delete for our move face here. Uh, I'm going to turn carving sketch back off. And then for fillet, fillet, the only thing it's doing is making it so that uh, we have like a little bit of a uh, an edge to our pumpkin right here. Um, so like we could, 
fillet this edge and make it look a little bit more like if we actually cut it out um, with a knife. Um, I would actually honestly say chamfers, like a little bit more um, what we would see in real life, um, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it again. Uh, and it looks like my computer's like trying to like real hard render this stuff. So again, like, yeah, I could try doing some filleting. Does it let me actually do it? Not really. It doesn't like this one here. So, and a, and a fillet would look more like if I cut it out with a knife, if you can see that. But it's having a little bit of a rough time rendering that uh, and figuring it out because of the complex surfaces on the, the edges of the pumpkin here. So, uh, I'm not going to play around with it anymore. Um, so, that is how you actually, like, make your pumpkin um, and, and extrude remove from it, all that good stuff. Um, what I'm going to do in a moment, I'm going to show you how to... Uh, change the materials, and then uh, export either an image or maybe um, try to screen record so you can post to Instagram. All right. All right. See so uh, what I'm going to do right now, uh, I'm going to show you all how to uh, actually like export this thing. So let's just call this STEM, <laughs> uh, this class, I guess, um, pumpkin. And uh, just so we can see what our parts are named, right? Um, so I just renamed the part studios. We're going to talk about, ex uh, not extruding this thing, but exporting it, making a photo of it. Um, so easiest, simplest way to do that is for you to create a new drawing. So instead of creating a new part studio, let's go ahead and create a new drawing down at the plus. And um, I always like to just do custom template because it has these borders that kind of look unsightly, especially when we're trying to export something as an image. You just don't want a bunch of random junk. Um, you don't want any views, you want it just to be blank. If you do want four views, um, it, you got to select some stuff and go about making this a different way. We don't care about that for now. So we're making a blank document, all this stuff, size A, sounds good, inches, decent. We don't really care about the units right now. Uh, I'm going to hit OK, and we're going to have a new drawing pop up here. Now, what's going to happen initially is uh, you're going to say a little window like this. It's going to say, uh, can you uh, tell me what you want a drawing of? And it's only going to let you select the individual parts. Um, the way to undo that is to actually select Part Studios here, and then we can select the Part Studio altogether. So we can actually say, hey, when I want a drawing in here, I want a drawing of the whole carved pumpkin. Now, uh, you can decide what you want to do. Uh, right now we have a blank sheet of paper. Uh, it's not exactly in the same ratio as like Instagram. Um, and Instagram works in pixels, so that's a whole nother story. But uh, we could click this in here and have it so that it's 1 by 8. Uh, you could take a screenshot or download an image of it. We could also increase the size of this thing. We could make it 1 to 4. Uh, and then once you're ready to click it in, you just click it in. Now, what you'll notice, um, it allows you to start drawing other faces. You can do that if you so choose. You can also hit escape and you're good to go. It will be not shaded in, so it doesn't have any color. And the way to fix that, you just two finger click on it, show shaded view, and boom, once it loads, there we go. Now, if you don't like your colors of stuff, if you want it to be like a green pumpkin or a purple pumpkin, um, you can go back to your part studio, two finger click on uh, the part that you want to change uh, the color of. You can edit the appearance and then you can start to change things. Now um, you can play around with it. It looks like it's only changing the inside. Which I don't know exactly what that's all about, but that probably has to do with our split. Um, and then if we look at uh, our stem pumpkin up here, we can edit the appearance, and if we make it blue, there we go. I believe this orange, probably have to um, edit the face appearance of it. There you go. So we just have to direct select it there, um, two finger click. And now I have some interesting pumpkining going on. I think the reason that uh, it's not letting us change the color down here is just because there's some weird surface stuff going on. I think it's the enclose um, that happened earlier. So, I don't know. We'll play around with this. I like this. This is a decent colored pumpkin here. Uh, it's like I painted it, right? Got some spray paint out. You'll notice that our 
drawing is not updated so I can hit refresh right here and boom it should see that change that I made sweet I like it and if I say I wanted to add another image in here I could do another insert view and I could say hey I want like the isometric view I want that top-down view and then I could click that in here now I could keep it so that it's unshaded so it looks like I like hand drew it right or again I can two-finger click and do show shade of view now there are a couple ways we can actually get this set up for Instagram. I looked up like Instagram sizes here. Obviously they're in pixels, not inches, but we know like four to five, one to one, or 1.91 to one. That's just the aspect ratio. Um, so um, if I wanted to make this one to one, I could right fin uh, two finger click on the, the drawing, the white area here, do sheet properties and say, hey, I don't want uh, it to be size A anymore. I want it to be custom. And I could say this should be, I don't know, uh, 8 by 8, and that is 1 to 1. So that's like our square for Instagram, right? And then I could start to curate this stuff in here if I wanted to. I could make one thing bigger, make one thing smaller, whatever it may be. Another thing you could play around with for Instagram, if you wanted to make a video and send it off to your phone, you could do a, like a screen recording with QuickTime, and maybe you've like zoomed in on this, and then you could start playing around with your view cube while you're recording the area. Um, if you are good with your drawing and you're ready to export it, um, A for my haiku, B for the actual uh, pumpkin carving contest, um, you can two finger click and export as a PDF um, and that will be something you can take to your phone. You could also um, make this as big as you can on the screen and just go ahead and use command shift 4 and take a screenshot of the area, email it to yourself, post it on IG, do whatever you gotta do. Um, and also post it to Haiku, just so I can record them and see them. Don't forget to share your stuff with me. Um, thanks for playing around with the uh, carving of pumpkins in this year of 2020, and this awesome Halloween that we are about to have. Um, I hope you eat some candy. Um, remember, um, yeah. That's about it. Remember to just have fun this weekend. Um, chill out. Enjoy some candy. Enjoy your friends, family, whatever you can with what's going on right now. And uh, I will see you on the flip side. We'll start talking about multi-part studios. Multiple parts in one part studio. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.